Hey, Alexis, thank you so much for being with me on the Purposeful Mindset podcast. I am super grateful and I'm honored and I'm humbled that we met through yet another social media app called Hi Ho. Um, honestly, it is just amazing how every day new things are coming out into the world. And I'm just jumping on every new thing because I'm like, hey, you know what? I want to be big on at least one of these big things because I always miss out. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just jump on this one and just, this is me. Like I can actually do Q&A with people and answer questions. And as a coach, that's what I love doing. I want to answer people's questions. So I jumped on there, we connected. And so I want to go straight into this episode with you, Alexis. And I want you to just briefly share with everybody a little bit about yourself, what you do currently, your, a little bit about your story. I know your story is huge, but my podcast like we're going to leave that for another time the story the full story but I really want to dive deep into like what are your actual top five life lessons through the crazy journey that you've had so far and share that with my audience because I can't wait to listen to them yeah so um thank you for having me you are so phenomenal Marshall but we have um the five things kind of break down some of my story for you so give you a little bit of sneak peeks into each one but the first one is faith beyond belief and i really truly think like if you and i were doing a trust fall right now i can believe that you'll catch me right like i can know you're strong enough to catch me but to truly have the trust and the faith that you will and to just let everything go and let you catch me that's completely different so that comes from um, February of last year. I know everyone had their COVID scares and everything, and it really affected the world, but mine, um, mine started before everyone else's. So in February, I went into the hospital for emergency spinal surgery, and it went all crazy. So like you said, we'll talk about that at another time. But that being said, it left me to meditate, it left me to pray, and it left me to have this faith that I was going to make it home to my daughters, that I was going to make it out of the situation I was in. And I don't think, whether whatever it is you believe in, I don't care if it's God or Buddha or a purple elephant outside, like whatever you believe in, just have true, true faith in something bigger than yourself, because that has to be the first and foremost. So that's my first one. I love that. And that's, that's like, that's been my journey the whole time. And a lot of people don't really like, don't really hear a lot about my spiritual side of me, because I don't really publicly share that a lot. But yeah, I'm actually, I would say like a practicing Muslim, right? So I would say like, I try to do my best in living my life in trying to do good and spread kindness and spread peace and be patient and hustle and like everything that my religion teaches me to go and do that. But I always keep my content in general, uh, like just generic, because I think everything that I learned from my own religion, I can share it through my character. I honestly believe we can share life lessons, wisdom through our character. So I'd rather share everything that I know through my spiritual self. I can, I'd rather share it just being myself and you know, just through my personality and my, just my craziness and the fun that I have with everybody. But they don't need to, like, nobody needs, you don't need to, I always tell people, you don't have to convince people to come and believe what you believe. That's not about, that's not what life's about. Mm -hmm. Life's about inspiring people, motivating them, like having them ask you questions. Like, why are you like that? What made you like that? Why do you act like that? How have you become like that? Like, those are the questions we should be asking us of not just like, come and this is the only right path and you have to follow me. No, 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 no. Listen, crazy person, go away. That is not the way that you, <laughs> that is not the way you inspire someone. That's not inspiration. That's scared. Like that's scaring people away. <laughs> I just think you're supposed to love everyone. I really do. I, I think that that is a strength and that is what we're here for is to help and support and love everyone and wherever your journey takes you, but just have that faith, have that faith that it's bigger than you. For sure. Yeah, hundred percent. It's it's like what Steve Jobs says about connecting the dots and just trusting in the master plan that it, things will turn out how you need it to turn out. So whether you're going through hard times right now or everything's all good, that's how it's meant to be for you right now. So just believe and have that faith. That and to add to the Steve Jobs, I love that. I love that by the way, um, and I love that you said that. But one of my amazing, amazing transformation coaches, Julian Doan. He says all the time that you can't connect the dots going forward. You have to 
move forward, have that faith, right? And then when you look back, you can truly connect the dots and see why it is that you went through what you went through. So definitely, definitely, I always think about that. I always hear him in my head, like, yeah. this is, uh, it will be okay. You just look back and it will make sense. And I'm like, yep, there we go. That's why. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It's just, it's just how it's meant to be. That's, that's just, that's purpose. That's just life. That's just how it's supposed to be. Like, I think the, lo the reason why a lot of people worry or have stress and anxiety now is because they live too much in the past. Like they're constantly living in the past when that's already happened. It's already gone. We cannot change it. We cannot, we can cry about it. We can moan. We can complain. We can make excuses day in, day out till the cows come home. But at the end of the day, right now you're living in the present moment. That is all you got to focus on. What are you doing today to change whatever happened in your past? So you feel better right now. That's the main thing. And that actually leads to number two, because that was me. I lived in the past constantly. I was always holding on to this trauma or to this moment of like, this, this has happened. This is already like bringing me down this way. Right. But I'm walking proof that you can, you can rewire that. And you're able to truly, truly change how you see the world and your perspective. Right. It's all within your own perspective. And um, number two is live your life for you because I clearly am still here <laughs> and, <laughs> um, had a knight in shining armor, if you will, or an angel, whatever you want to call it. Um, but Dr. Glickman is the surgeon that did come in and save me. And I wasn't supposed to be able to walk or run or work out or do any of the fun things, just whatever I wanted to do. And here I am. So I realized at that time I was still angry. I was still living in the past and I had to learn that you can't live for your parents. You can't live for someone else's dreams. You can't live for what a mentor is telling you you should want. Right. And I was such that teacher's pet, if you will, like I wanted to achieve everything. And I did most of my stuff, like A plus here, honor roll here and made it that way. But all of that led to me not knowing what my purpose was or not knowing what I wanted in my heart. So it definitely after me um, <laughs> making it, that was my journey. I had to figure it out. I had to figure out how to live life for myself. And that, that's my number two to everyone is live life for yourself. And that is honestly already one of my favorite ones you shared, because just to give you context, like I always coach and take and like teach people now, like to stop worrying about other people's opinions. My life changed the day I asked myself, hey, Sadiq, why do you give a crap about what other people say about you? What, like you, you saw my TED talk, right? When I said that, like, why do I give a crap about what people think about me? When I, when I answered my own question, my life changed. So I think when we start asking ourselves the right questions, our life starts changing because nobody's going to, you, you just don't come across mentors and coaches. you got to go seek them and find them. And you gotta, you got to actually put yourself out there to like, to put an effort to go and find and seek help. If you don't, then you're never going to get it. And the help always comes from within first. Well, and you can have the best coach in the world, but if you don't apply it and you don't go through and truly, truly put in the effort and the work and want it in your heart, it's, it's pointless. You might as well go do nothing. <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you know, right now from the business that you currently run, right? Like that's how it works. You help people, you coach them, you mentor them, you support them, but you cannot do it for them. They have to go, to, they have to want it as bad as you. And if they don't, that's okay. That's their life. I, I, I have to say, I go with, I agree with you, but it truly comes from, I was that person. <laughs> I was blessed with these amazing mentors or these amazing trainers and I wasn't living for me. I was living for everyone else. So I had helped um, in the shadows. Uh, I make jokes about Bane from Batman, but like I was in the darkness. I was in the shadows working and running and helping other people build their success. And in doing so, it just created this resentment and I had the knowledge, I had the capability, but I didn't have the confidence. Like you teach so many amazing people, right? Didn't have that confidence. So I was going through and building other people and I was like, I'm doing this. This is fine. No, it's not fine. Go shine your own light. Right? Like, yeah. No, it's you true. To. You, gotta, you have to, because like, it's like, 
I bet you any money on your list, you have somewhere self care and self love, right? Everybody talks about that because honestly, it's, you know how I know because everybody has that as part of their list because they understand at one point in their journey that when you understand how important it is to love yourself first before you can give back to others, that is life, that is purpose, that is how you tap into your true, authentic, best self. Is when you know yourself. Because like I made a TikTok video that went viral a couple of years, like last year, I think. All I said was, nobody knows you. Nobody knows what's happening in your mind. Nobody knows what's happening in your heart. Nobody knows you the way you know yourself. So ignore the negativity and the noise out there and just focus on being the best you. That went to 1.7 million views. Wow, that's, that's amazing. All that's all I said, Alexis. But it's such a simple statement, yet so powerful because it's all about self-love. It hit people in the heart. Well, and that goes to show the fact that it went viral, right? And one, you're amazing for posting it, Marshall. <laughs> but um, the fact that it went viral just shows you how hungry people are for that true, true vulnerability and their need in their heart to just feel better and be better about themselves. So um, we're like right on cue here. Which, by the way, these <laughs> are not cues. self love. These, these are not cues. By the way, this is just perfect. But my number three is raise the bar. Oh. Um, and what I mean by that is to raise the bar of happiness. I actually got fully immersed and obsessed with uh, neuro-linguistic programming. And I'm almost certified, almost certified now. And super excited about that. But I buried myself in work and I was so reckless, right? I was so reckless with my life. And people think that like, oh, when you're saved, like, now it's golden. No, that's not how it works at all. It's not how life was handed. Um, I was so buried in my work and so reckless with my life, like going 134 down the freeway in a car that doesn't even like, it's not even meant to go that fast. Okay. It's a Kia. Um, <laughs> but I was, I was so scared. And then COVID hit three days after I got out of the hospital. And so you can imagine, I went from the hospital to the rehab to, hey, by the way, you're now locked down. And I had to face, I had to face the skeletons. I had to see what was there. I am not even going to list all of them, but I had to face that. And I had to be honest and truthful with myself. So that's what led me to really raising the bar of my own happiness and learning that cognitive behaviors are real. You guys, like cognitive behaviors are out there. I don't know why we can be taught some inappropriate things in high school, but we can't be taught cognitive behaviors or financial literacy. Like those are two things that should be taxes? in every school. How about, about taxes? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm learning a lot of things this year. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's definitely, um, it, it's definitely led me to this obsession and don't be afraid to get help when you need that happiness, right? You have to be willing to raise your bar. You have to be willing to put yourself first, put that mask on, do what you need to do, but you get to choose. And that's the part where people get so hung up. And when I say people, I really mean um, me six months ago, me a year ago, all of my past, okay? These, again, I say these because I messed up so many ways and my mess is my message, but you have to go through and really realize that right here, right now, like everyone that's listening to this, everyone that watches the replay, you can literally choose right this second to just soak up our energy and be happy. Exactly. You don't have to stay there anymore. No, just one decision, one shift, yeah. one mind shift can change your life. It's what happened to me. I just asked myself the question, answered it in my own, in literally answer, it was right here on, my, on the bed behind me. Asked myself, hey Sadiq, why are you being so selfish and not sharing the wisdom that you're learning from this personal growth <sighs> on these events? And number two, like, why do you care about the opinions of your friends, your mother, your father, your sisters, your mm -hmm. brother? Like, why do you care about their opinions? Screw that. Just, just, just take your phone out and start making videos. And it all started from that. Took out my phone on Snapchat at the time it was. And I just started making a video and I just called it Wisdom Wednesday. And ever, ever till, ever till today, like this day, I've never, ever missed a Wednesday video. Never. Every Wednesday I had a little short video that went out in one minute to 30 seconds or 15 seconds or whatever. But every Wednesday till I started that video, I've never stopped making that video. And it's because I love, I'm, I'm a consistent beast as everybody knows me as. Like I'm a, like you can't beat me in a race with it when it comes to consistency. I'll beat your ass. Like consistency is, my, is me. 
like ask me to do something, I would do it for the rest of my life. If I really care and I know that it's beneficial for me. If it's something that's not important to me, then I won't, I won't prioritize it. Mm. Oh, that's a big one right there. That's okay. So rewind for a second. I love that you said that you're being selfish. And I mean that in the most loving way ever, but it's so very true. Like if you're not sharing your story and you're not really even seeking your purpose, you don't even have to know your purpose yet. But if you're not out there doing something, even 10 minutes, to really leave an impact that's positive in the world, then you, to me, you're being selfish. Like you have to be willing to share just that much more because we all are here and have these different perspectives. We could all be sitting in the same auditorium and Siddiq could be up on stage, right? And going about it, we're all gonna have a different perspective of what's going on in that same moment, the same location at the same exact time. And the fact that we can take that, right? And we could all share just what our heart held on to and impact the world and ripple effect. So I love that you say that because that is the biggest, biggest thing um, for sure. I love that. Um, my fourth one <laughs> is invest in yourself. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, big one. Um, and I'm gonna have to throw it out to SeedCon for this. It's my transformation. It is why I'm sitting here I know they won't accept the work because I put in the effort I put in the work I know they won't accept the thank you but um <laughs> they are or they'll accept the thank you but not the the work itself and it's business okay so the pillars of life um a lot of it but I won't go into detail it's the most amazing thing it's transformation with seed seedcon and the business goes into streams of revenue, the trading, travel, a transformation, literally every, every aspect, no matter what it is, like you could be in a whole different field. It doesn't matter. Um, but being willing to invest in yourself in some, some way, like I am now obsessed with investing in my own businesses, investing in my own spiritual growth, investing in my own time, the self-care, like you said, right. The oxygen mask on yourself, um, relationships, I do feel like you have to have one person that, and it doesn't matter when I say relationships, like it can be your best friend, it can be your mom, it can be your spouse, your lover, whatever it is. Um, but I feel like you need to sit in a full bathtub and they sit in a full bathtub and you can hold hands. It should never be that you're draining each other, right? It needs to be this growth. And just when you shine your light together, it just shines brighter. And um, that, that comes with maturity that comes with investing in yourself and your own self care. And it, it is, I understand why everyone says it because that's the biggest one. I had to take time for me. I had to take time for me over a lot of things. Like I had to take time for me over my time with my daughters. I had to take time for me over my parents, like people that I love genuinely love with all of my being. I had to step aside and say, okay, you know what? You've done this for too long. You tried it the hard way. That's clearly not working. And let's focus on what the actual issues are at heart. So definitely, definitely heal yourself before you go bleed all over everyone else. I love to say this one little sentence. It's like, uh, go, go from being selfish to become selfless. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, it's, that's perfect. It's truly like the essence of life is to, you know, um, is, is to find gratitude, is to find yourself. Like, what are, what are the things, your strengths, you know, what are the things that you're really good at? You know, tap into that. And the weaknesses can stay there and, and they can be kind of portrayed on you through other people. And it's okay that other people are telling you what your weaknesses are because it's good for you to know and to grow those weaknesses into becoming mm -hmm. strengths as well. But focus on the strengths. Like, don't focus on the weaknesses. That just happens naturally when you start growing them. But the, the strength is what you tap into. Like I know, for example, that I have a lot of crazy energy. So I'm going to keep on sharing this crazy energy, whether it's hi-ho, TikTok, Instagram, whatever a new app comes up tomorrow, tap, tip, whatever. I'm going to be there and I'm just going to spread some love. I'm not going to take anything. The one thing I learned from Gary Vee is you just keep giving, 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 and you only ask once something share my share my stuff save my stuff leave a comment like it like that's the only thing i'm ever going to ask i'm never going to say to someone and you what you see this hey guys come buy my new program no 
Like the only thing I'm ever going to sell is me. If you want my coaching, then come and ask me, hey, Sadiq, I want you to coach me. I'm not going to come and say, hey, I think you need coaching. Please come and let me be your, let be my client. Let me coach you and change your life. No, unless I really see something in someone and I, and I go specifically to them and I say, hey, like there's something really cool and special about you. You're like amazing in so many ways. And I just think that if I can help you with this little thing, I feel like you, everything, your business, your life and everything else will just massively change. And for that aspect, let me help you. Let me support you. Can I be of service? If not, no big deal. It doesn't matter. That's amazing. Yeah, I think, and I think that's why we connected so quickly on Hi Ho is because it is, it's just providing extra love, providing extra value. Tell everybody, it's been and like two days. Two, two days. <laughs> it's been two days, only two days. We connected two days ago. Let's keep it real. Let's let, let everybody listen and see this on YouTube. You can connect with someone like this in two days from an app. That's a complete stranger. I did not know this woman two days ago. I met her on some new social media app called Hi Ho. We connected because all we did was like literally answer each other's questions. And then we felt energy. We saw each other on the screen because that's how Hi Ho works. And we just started like interacting and talking. And you just told me one of your dreams. And I was like, I'm going to make sure that your dream comes true. Because I love doing that. Like, that's just my purpose. I want to help other people's dream come true. So I'm like, how about I get you on the podcast? And that's going to be the first step for you to be the, the one of the best happiness coaches and, and love coaches that you said you want to be in the world so I wanted you to come and spread some love on the podcast as your first step to being where you want to be and I know you're going to be there I already told you before like you're going to be there I can already see it feel it and know it's going to happen I appreciate that much love yeah um it's it is it's crazy that it's only been two days <laughs> two days just to remind you just a reminder two days and I'll ask you to be on my podcast because I think you're amazing your energy in the world and I want you to share it. And here she is. She's, she's literally at the time of this recording. She's, it's been two days. She's around my podcast already, like in two days. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get over it. And that it. leads us to <laughs> the fact that her life. <laughs> Y'all are just going to listen to us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that leads to number five you guys and it's this flow like that's the part that has me laughing so hard is it so natural when you genuinely meet someone and you can just vibe off of their energy the way that that platform allows you to please go check it out but um <laughs> the way that it allows you to the flow is so amazing but number five you guys is fly and that to me is a huge thing so to give you a little bit of backstory when I first moved out of my parents' house, um, I had this really old laptop and my world started with social media. Okay, like I'm gonna age myself a little bit here, but I started my first hustle with MySpace and I was hacking in and changing people's friends because that was like the big thing back then. I would get paid lunch money to go and change. Oh, wow. It's horrible. Okay, it's, it's probably haram in some way. But <laughs> <laughs> I would change their backgrounds. Some people I did it just because they didn't know how. Okay, so <laughs> there were people that I was just helping and then there were other ones that I was um, moving Tom around, which you guys probably don't even know who Tom is, but those that do, thank you. And <laughs> my mom had wrote on my laptop, jump. And it was when I first moved out and she was like, sometimes you can't find all of the answers. Sometimes it's not gonna be a clear path in life. Sometimes you just have to know in your heart the right direction and you have to jump and I was always worried that if I jumped what if I fall and I know we can go the less brown way of saying like if you fall land on your back so you can always get back up right but um I turned that into my own in just trusting that I'll fly trusting that I'll fly and in order to fly you have to first love yourself so um it's really taking the leap of faith and knowing, knowing that as long as you're following your heart, as long as you are sharing love and helping others, as long as you are following what feels right, like trust your gut, you guys, like genuinely trust your gut, follow your heart, know what's right from wrong. I know we say that all the time, but you know in your heart and in your gut if you're going the right direction. And if you do that, then you're always gonna fly, always gonna fly powerful 
so powerful. I love it. Jump and just fly. I think that's just like, it reminds me of that song. Like one of my mentors once told me about of this event I went to. He's like, sometimes in life, you got to go and find the tallest building in the world. Like he was just given an example, like hypothetically, you got to find the tallest building in the world. Go to the top, look down at your feet, look down at the view, jump and just sing, I believe I can fly. <laughs> and just like, just start flying. <laughs> just like know that you're not gonna die. Know that you're gonna fall down very fast, but put your arms out and you will just fly. Ooh, um, I love that. And, and go with that flow. As you just said, right, jump, take, take, go with the flow and just take that, take the leap of faith. Cause if you don't take the leap of, leap of faith, you, you never get out of your comfort zone. You never grow, you never change, you never develop, you never become stronger. No, and I have a lot of friends, and when when they're listening to this, they're probably going to, like, <laughs> have feelings about it, but a lot of them say, like, oh, today's day one. Oh, today's day one. Oh, no, handle it like today's day one, and I cannot stand it. It drives <laughs> me insane. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not in Groundhog's Day, you guys. I'm not in Groundhog's Day. I am not going to just keep repeating the same day over and over, but if you don't step out of your comfort zone, and you truly stay in that box, then you're stuck in that box and it will be Groundhog's Day every single day until you learn to jump and, and just trust that you will fly. Yep. So, um, and plus yep. the fact that you learn every single day. So no matter what, you're always better off than you were yesterday, as long as you're doing it with your heart. But yeah, that's my little rant there. <laughs> a little rant, a little rant, like right at the end. Every, I always tell people, you know, one of the reasons why I shortened my podcast in the beginning, because I used to do an hour long podcast before when I first started. When I got to episode 50, I saw in the I shortened it to 30 minutes. And it's just like, let's get straight into the value of my guests' top five life lessons. Instead of them sharing their whole story, which I still want everybody to go and connect with you. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you share your where, where they can go and find you after. But I, like I always tell people, like connect with, uh, like, sorry, uh, on my podcast, like I want people to get the most out of listening or watching something rather than mm -hmm. just like listening to someone's like long story and it's like two hour podcast and like people just don't have time for that anymore it's really hard like imagine i tell you i always tell people focus like imagine you do you really consciously take time out to listen to a two hour or an hour or an hour and a half podcast many people don't they're like no we just clock out after 20 minutes ah, we just tend to turn it off after 30 minutes but what i found was every guest and every podcast episode so far since i've been doing this for the last almost 90 something weeks is that the value always comes at the end of the podcast, the rant, the, the the energy, the craziness always comes at the end, which is why I wanted to shorten it to 30 minutes so like everybody gets the full value. And then I'll get you to share your last, uh, the, the last sentence now, which uh, which I already know that you have written down because <laughs> you listened to my podcast. But I want to ask you the question anyway, and I really want you to like share with everybody what you honestly truly believe. So imagine that right now alexis is standing on a tedx stage and she's given a speech to ninety thousand people and she has to leave these people with one feeling that they would never forget how this woman called alexis made us feel on that night what would that one last sentence be so because everything in my life has been metamorphosis okay my my leave to everyone would be glow up and I'm all about acronyms, but GLOW being go love other people's ways, okay? Other people's ways, because you can share your love all you want to, but you have to be able to connect with other people. And I'm not necessarily talking about five love languages, but go, go ahead and just show other people that you love them the way that they really need it to be. Um, and then up would be unapologetically present. You have to be unapologetically present in everything you do no matter what's going on if it's family that needs your time um i know we had to reschedule this it's genuinely because i live this um i will go love everyone and go love other ways but on top of that i had to stay unapologetically present i wanted to be here for the podcast fully but i also have my oldest daughter's birthday and i want to be there present and i feel like that's something that no matter where you are in life whether you have a dollar to your name or a million dollars to your name people really struggle with that those two things, those two things. So um, that being said, I'd say love contagiously, love contagiously.
because you have to leave the world a better place. And if people can go share negative beliefs whenever the heck they want to and spill it everywhere, then we can go love wherever we want to and love contagiously. I love it. I love it. Love, not hate people. Beautiful, beautiful message. Glow up. I love that. I love the acronym that you shared there as well. I'm going to share something with you soon around that. But Alexis, honestly, I'm super grateful that we got connected. I'm so glad that you're sharing your love, your light, your energy with the world. I honestly see you going massive places. I'm, I can't wait to stay in touch and, and, and stay connected and, and help and be of service as much as I can in your journey as well. But if anybody wants to go and learn more about your story, your journey, talk to you, ask you more questions, which platforms do you live on the most? I will share all the links, by the way, under the YouTube video and all over the podcast. So they're going to go find you anyway. Uh, but where do you kind of, if they want to kind of communicate with you directly, where do you live the most? Um, I am on Instagram and well, it's tied now because I really love how you guys need to get it. Um, on Hi Ho, it's just Alexis Han. Uh, everywhere else, literally any platform is Alexis Nicole Han. And Facebook and Instagram are my main two go to still. And then Telegram. If you have Telegram, I'm on Telegram all the time. So those those would be my four okay awesome thank you so much for sharing that i'm going to share all those links with everybody and guys if you're still listening or watching this right now please 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 and literally begging you go and connect with this amazing lady take some of her energy send her some love as i always say to you every week send her some love hearts some some spiral energy uh, emojis like go and share share some love she's sharing so much love with the world it's time for us to give her some love and show her some appreciation. So go and connect with her. Thank you so much once again, Alexis, for sharing your wisdom and your top five life lessons. I'm looking forward to stay in touch with you. Until then, uh, keep keep inspiring the world with your... Actually, I want to say keep glowing up. Yes, love and light. Love and light, you guys. I love it. All right, thank you.